Let's do it. Hello, Pisces. Rambling Mike here. Going to play a little bit of tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate your time and your views. So very kind of you. Thanks for hitting the old subscription button while you're thinking about it. Thanks for your like. So very kind of you. I was definitely want to take a minute and thank my Pisces. Huge supporters, old Ramblin' Mike, since the very beginning. So I just want to say thank you. Pisces, if you ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form, thank you so very much. So very kind of you. I am going to freestyle a love story here tonight with, uh, well, this is the uh, Mystic Palette right here. The Mystic Palette by Ciro Marchetti. I'm going to clarify it with the Tarot Illuminati. I'm going to start your, your spread out here with some love cards. The old classic love cards, huh? I've been playing with this particular deck, what, almost six years now. It's still kicking. And a couple of major arcana to top it off. All that being said, it is tarot time. We are looking for a love story for Pisces. Pisces, love team. Pisces. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Pisces, first card out. Pisces, you pulled a great love card as well. I, I said as well because Cancer pulled this. What's going on with my water babies? This is make the effort. Well, you, got, you may have somebody coming in here that wants to make the effort. And this card does say great love as we're taking the steps you, you're guided to take. Let's get a hold of some of that great love, huh? Pisces, you pulled a great love card. Make the effort. Make the effort. Huh? Give me a card right here. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Oh, and free yourself. Wow. Wow. What is this about? You may be, you may be letting a situation go. Or may have already let a situation go. And uh, then we got great loves for taking the steps you're guided to take. <laughs> oh, somebody may have got fired. Oh, red flags. There's been some flags on the play around here. This, this could be talking about new energy, you know, clearing out energy right here. Red flags, flags on the play, free yourself came out. Romantic feelings and attraction. Oh, well, it looks to me like somebody may have got fired over here. You are f -f 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 fired. And then attraction comes out. That's so, uh, you know, about letting the past be in the past and being in the now, being in the moment, smelling the roses for a minute. It says you're attracting love right here, but you may have to let a situation go, red flags and free yourself. That's pretty clear to an old tarot reader. Looks like you're attracting some kind of great love energy. Do you already know who that is? <laughs> Do you already know who that is? Romantic feelings are right here. These feelings are real and worth exploring. Wow, Pisces. Pisces. I know there's a forgiving and learning. There's a forgiving and learning card right there. So there's some Pisces. Tired of red flags. Tired of uh, red flags. You're probably putting in all the work over here. I, know, I love my Pisces, but... Forgiving and learning's on here. Red flags and free yourself. And then we got attraction, romantic feelings, and great love. And, oh, look, it's flirt. That's a flirt card. <laughs> That's a flirt card right there. It says, it says extend your lighthearted energy to somebody new. <laughs> is, uh, you may know them. I don't know. I don't know. It says you may know them as romantic feelings. Let's play some tarot. Let's play some tarot on this. Pisces, yeah, it says you may know who this is. Past life relationship. Oh, that's what I want to focus on. I've seen enough of red flags. If it's time to get, it's time to get. Got, got, got new love. Flirt, flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to somebody new. Make the effort. Great loves are taking the steps you're guided to take. Attraction, being in the now, being in the moment. 
and these feelings are real and worth exploring. Oh, it's exploring time. All right, love team, what do we got for Pisces? Let's do it, let's do it, let's cut this deck. Overall, what's going on, Pisces babies? Here we go. Oh, <laughs> look at this six wands. I love this deck, man. The six wands, right, is a card of, well, I don't know, maybe getting out of Dodge, you know, and heading to a place where you receive the attention that you're worthy of. Six of Wands is a card of victory after the battle, confidence in yourself. I love you. I love you jumping over all that right there. All right. Out with the old. Definitely. Oh, here's a major arcana for you. A strength card. I love how I love how this angel right here is pouring out that all oh, that amazing healing energy on our tiger right there. So strength, strength as we are, I don't know, I don't know, moving in a new direction. Oh, look what's here. Two of Cups. That's a nice direction to be moving towards, ain't it? Six of Wands and Two Cups. Darling, you got two cups on your spread. You got two cups energy coming in here. You got some angel pouring out, pouring out love on you, healing strength. Ooh, yes. That's an ace of wands right there. Oh, la, la. Look at all these tigers, man. Oh, no, strength. Oh, oh, Lord. It's a strength and an ace of wands. Oh, we got a tiger. We got a tiger in the tank around here. Ooh, a lot of passion, huh? Look at this. Nine cups. Nine cups. That's about, you know, wish, wishes and wishes and uh, wish fulfillment. Oh, man. Who is this? As you may already know him because I got uh, romantic feelings. These feelings are real and worth exploring. Flirting. <laughs> Strength to an ace of wands. And a nine of cups. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, there's a king right there. There's a king. That's a king of wands. Um, could be Aries Leo Saggy, but it's a king. I like a king here for you. Oh, a king and a queen. Wow, 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 wow. Pisces. Oh, 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 you know, this is the catch right here. Queen of Pins, Queen of Pins, two cups, a king and a queen showed up on your spread. There's an ace of wands there, and nine cups. Ooh, so nice. Oh, there's a devil right there, damn it, man. That's about an ugly old devil right there, ain't it? <laughs> it's not the ugliest devil in the tarot, man. Um... I always see this, you know, with red flags and all that, man, you know. Uh, whoever this is right here may uh, come in and uh, see if you want to bite that apple one more time. I would say no thank you. <laughs> this is nice right here. King of Fire, Queen of Pins. Nice, man. Nice entrepreneur energy. And the Queen of Pims is a committed relationship energy. She's the queen of the world, too, so she has entrepreneur energy about her herself. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Let's play some tarot around here. Who are you thinking about right here? We got to change. Free yourself from that old devil. Want another bite of this apple, Pisces? <laughs> no, no, no thanks, man. No thanks. I see a whole new adventure right here. Whole new adventure. All right. So, romantic feelings is on this spread right here. Two cups, that's a soulmate energy. Six wands is about going to a place where we're receiving... Uh, Receiving the attention that we're worthy of. That don't surprise me. Eight cups showed up. Eight cups. That's a, that's a challenging card. See, this character looks kind of sad, huh, Pisces? Because all these are love cups. So it says you put a lot of love 
and energy into a situation, you know, uh, toxic, to say the least. But heading up to the mountaintop right there, that's where the gods live at. Going to find that ninth cup. Wow, it's already on your spread. That ninth and that tenth cup of wish fulfillment. Ooh, looks like you're about to find it real quick. Pisces. All right, all right. Who are you thinking about over here? That's what I want to look at right now. Got that old king and that queen right there in the near future. Ace of Wands. <laughs> Ace of Wands. Ooh la la. Look at these cards, man. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Standing under the tree. Playing a little kissy face, huh? Second time two cups have showed up. Who are these two right here? Who's this king and this queen? Both of them got two cups. <laughs> Hi, Pisces. Here's my cup. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. Um, you know, this is generally where I'm pulling cards on who you're thinking about, what they're thinking and feeling about you. This is a matching energy right here. First, we got we to gotta go to the mountaintop. Eight cups. Eight cups. But there's nine already on the board. And then we got high Pisces. Here's my cup. Could be new right there with two. Could be somebody that you know. Whatever it is. <laughs> Whatever it is. It's new beginnings. New passionate emotions. <laughs> Ace of Wands twice. <laughs> All right, Pisces, hit, hit that like button while you got a minute, okay? Looks like you're going to be busy in a minute. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Um, well, whoever this is right here, man, you got an offer coming in. Now you do. What's Pisces thinking and feeling about this love journey? You may, be, you may be just clearing up all this mess right now. Love on yourself. Do you first right now. Huh? Maybe, maybe, maybe that's um, the energy that they're waiting for you to clear that. I just think we can feel that kind of energy. Anyway, man, they're not waiting for long, man. Nine of Cups, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Two Cups, standing under the tree. Give me something for Pisces right here. Yeah. The Wounded Warrior. Um, this is my card of what didn't kill you makes you stronger. It's no quitting sense, right, when it comes to love, my little love warrior. Got that Ace of Wands. Oh, looking at that Ace of Wands. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, hey, don't take out the past on somebody that's showing up around here. All their energy seems to be right. But I can see why this could be your energy right now, right? Just dealt with all that. Anyway. Oh, and, but it does say, it does say right here that, that you're open to love. It says right here that you are healing. This is the Empress. It's Taurus, Libra. It says to me you're healing and that uh, there's a new world being birthed here for you. Beautiful, beautiful. Give me something, Pisces, Pisces. What's going on with Pisces? What are they thinking and feeling about this love journey they've been on? I see healing. I see, I see Venus showing up. Wow, the high priestess came out. Another major arcana, your major arcana. Um, it could say intuitively, again, that you know that this new energy could be coming in here for you. It could be a reason why you decided to just go ahead and let this go, whatever this is about right here. You can be very intuitive and know that this lover is coming in here for you. I think both of you are feeling each other's energy. That's what I think, my high priest, my high priestess, priestess of the moon, keeper of the mysteries of the collective unconscious. Persephone gets to come up out of Hades, and she gets to go dance in the sun. Give me some on this. Give me some on this. Pisces. Whew, man, this has been challenging for a minute, the cards I'm seeing. 
I see breakthrough. I do, I do, I do. It's all divine feminine energy right there. <laughs> Queen of Swords came out. Queen of Swords came out. Yeah, cold and detached uh, on the outside, but inside, ooey gooey, soft and chewy, full of agape love. Wow, four wands after all these majors. Who is this over here? Oh, two, two, two of cuppers. The Knight of Cups bringing in an Ace of Cups and an Ace of Wands. Four wands over here. Oh, <laughs> you know, that's, that's prepared for the big day. Oh, you could really just feel this energy coming in. Good. I mean, I'm reading for very enlightened people. I like it. Some nice cards. Shows a beautiful love story unfolding here. Want you loving on yourself, healing yourself, doing what's best for you. Don't take out this energy on your friend right here. That's my advice. Looks like they want to go all the way. Four wands is on the spread. All right. Give me a major here. Overall. Overall major for Pisces. What do we got? Oh, the chariot. Oh, big cancer. Um, if you're traveling, be safe. Be safe. Look at this, right? Look at that angel up there. This is somebody. Some oh, somebody being led to what? Their empress, male or female? Oh, <laughs> we got we got movement. We got movement. <laughs> oh, it's right there. There's the empress right there. The chariot. The chariot coming in here for love. Love and abundance. Uh, the last card is um, the hermit. Now, I see some healing that needs to be happening. So love on yourself right here. Love on yourself. Because I got a, I got somebody going to be coming charging down the street real soon. They, they want they want love and abundance with you. And uh, this is, uh, well, the Hermit. And they are connected to the star right there. And uh, this is about planetary alignments and, uh, and uh, people being led and guided by the divine in a beautiful, beautiful love story. Pisces, I hope you enjoyed the spread. I definitely enjoyed reading it with you tonight. May all your dreams come true. Hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot readers. If I have, smash that subscription button, huh, Pisces? Ring my bell. Hit that old I like Mike button if you would. Appreciate that so very much. I got some vids up here that you may want to take a look at. Stick around, play a little bit more tarot if you would like. I'm going to pull some cards here for you in the next couple of days. You got a couple of aces coming in here. Couple of aces, two of cups and two of cups and a king and a queen. Anyway, may all your dreams come true, Pisces. Talk with you in a couple of days. Bye for now. Okay, we 